the Faulkner County Library and we are here with another Miss Anne's Crazy Creations today. Today we are going to be making artist trading cards. These are going to be little decorations that you can keep for yourself or you can share them with your friends. Okay, so for today's activity from your supply box, you're going to need scissors, a glue stick, and possibly colored pencils depending on what you just, which direction you decide to go. Then from your activity kit, you're gonna have some cardstock and an assortment of papers, stickers, and materials that you can use to create your artist trading card. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna set out everything that you have and look to see what you are working with. And I'm gonna kind of guide you through the process of how to make an artist trading card but there is no right or wrong way of what you're doing. This is really what you want and what is calling out to you and what kind of design elements you like. So this is really a freestyle activity that you can do however you would like. So once you have found your materials and you see stuff that might go together or that you think would be interesting, you're going to go ahead and attach it to your cardstock. So I'm going to start, I'm going to have a back, one of my larger pieces of paper. I'm going to use this kind of a background for my artist trading card. So I have this map that I'm going to use. So that was my first step. And then I saw a picture and it's got a bunch of words and I just happened to glance and it actually has my name in the words. So I'm gonna try to make a little story to add to mine. And I'm gonna do that by making a little blackout poem. I don't know if any of you have ever done this, but you take a marker, it can be black or it can be whatever color you want. And you're going to mark out the words, everything except for the words you want to use in your poem, you're going to mark out. So I'm going to go through really quick and I'm going to pick out which words I want to use. And then I'm just going to kind of color the words that I didn't want to use. And when you're coloring, you can make a design if you want. You also, there you can cut out words. And in just a second, I'll show you kind of what that looks like. Gonna trim the edges. And put this on my page.
Another thing, if you don't want to use a lot of words, you can use some of the single words on that might be in your materials. So I used fun. And these can be serious, these can be silly, these can be super artistic, or they can be more simplified. Really, it is up to you and what you want to do. And you can make several of them. You can make a funny one and a more inspirational one. Because the point of these is that you are going to have cards at the end that you can share with your friends. And if, you're fr if you can get your friends to start doing these, then y'all can trade with each other and you can have a whole little artist trading situation going on. So I have my words, I have my little poem I wrote, and I think I'm going to add a sticker too. I'm going to add this star. Although I do have a glittery butterfly that's kind of, would be fun. And this is my completed artist trading card. Thank you for joining me for another Miss Anne's Crazy Creations. I made a couple of these because they're so fun to make. And when you start seeing the possibilities of what you can do with your materials, it's fun to think of what is next. So I hope you enjoy these and I hope that you and your friends can trade artist trading cards with each other. If you want more information on summer reading programs, follow the Faulkner County Library Youth Services Facebook page or the Faulkner County Library YouTube channel. Thank you.